Hi guys, uh, good morning, Dr. Cook. Today we're gonna to talk about classification of endometriosis. I get a lot of questions about, well, what stage is my endometriosis? Uh, this is the ASRM, uh, American Society for Reproductive Medicine classification system. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is uh, show you some high-tech video features here. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna put this, this will be on the website also, but this is the worksheet uh, for endometriosis classification. And you can see we have uh, stage one, two, three, and four. It's a point system. The maximum number of points allowable is uh, 150. So you can see stage one is one to five, stage two, two to six to 15, and stage three is 16 and above. Now, there's three basic categories. We have endometriosis in this upper dark box. Adhesions or scar tissue is all this down here and then this is the posterior cul-de-sac. So let's go through it one section at a time. And I, you know, I've often said if it's not in the ovary deep, endometrioma, chocolate cyst, it cannot be staged any more than stage two. And the reason is, you see, we have peritoneum for endometriosis and ovary. So there's two basic locations we're looking for endometriosis. Peritoneum, it can be superficial or deep. And if we go over, and then they're really each one of these columns less than one centimeter, which is about three eighths of an inch, one to three centimeters, three is a little over an inch, and greater than three. So if it's all over the peritoneum, again, the peritoneum is the inside lining of the pelvis. If it's all over the peritoneum and it's just superficial, it's four points. So you only get four points if it's just on the surface of the peritoneum. If it's deep, in other words, it goes a little bit deeper than the surface of the peritoneum, six points. So that barely gets you to stage two. So again, if you don't have any scar tissue, you don't have endo in the ovaries, the most you can be is a one or two. And we all know one or two can be more painful than a three or four. Now, for the ovary, superficial endometriosis on the surface of the ovary, or deep, an endometrioma, less than one centimeter, one to three, and greater than three. So greater than three, you get 20 points right there. So if you have an endometrioma in one ovary and that's it, you're a stage three. Okay, so you have the right and the left. So for endometriosis, you get a maximum of 46 points. That's it. So yes, you could get into uh, stage four with that. The posterior cul-de-sac, the area behind the uterus and the bowel, partial. So, you know, it's almost like a zipper. So the bowel starts to scour to the back of the uterus and that's, obliteration of the cul-de-sac. Complete obliteration, right there you get 40 points, right there you're stage four. Okay, then we have adhesions. And remember, this was made to try to predict the chance of getting pregnant after surgery, not the degree of pain. And we know it does not do that. That's what the EFI or, American, or endometriosis fertility index is about. Okay, adhesion, scar tissue, two areas, the ovary or the fallopian tube. You have filmy, which is kind of like spider webs, you know, uh, just thin stuff, dense. Things are glued together. So and then it's minus one, uh, less than one third enclosure, one third to two thirds, and greater than two thirds uh, enclosure. So you can get, um, you know, a total of four points if your ovary has filmy adhesions all around it. If it's encased adhesions, that's 16. So each, you know, right and left ovary, scar tissue, fallopian tube, right and left fallopian tube. So you can see, really we have the numbering. It depends how much endometriosis you have, but if it's all over inside, you're really a stage one, maybe a stage two. And that's where they were trying to guess at the time what affects fertility. And the thinking was if the ovaries or tubes are affected by endometriosis or scar tissue, then it's bad. So invasive endometriosis, really stage three and four, non-invasive stage one or two. So uh, hopefully that helps. We'll post this. Uh, I know it may be hard to see on the internet, your high-tech video equipment coming down here. Okay, so uh, hopefully that helps. But I think part of what I want to do is help educate you guys on how to do the staging, what's a proper uh, diagnostic laparoscopy. And again, we all know right now, a lot of patients know more than the doctor, but let's get the correct information. So you guys are informed, smart consumers, and that's how we're gonna change the way endometriosis is treated all together. Alrighty, have a great weekend. Talk to you later.